fucking like there's so many crazy bitches <laughs> I could talk about. Um one of them uh D, I know you're watching. I don't know if you know this, but a uh pretty prolific murderer uh was released uh to uh, Troy, New York. She's not allowed to leave the county. Um, if you want to look her up, which, fuck her. She doesn't have privacy. Um, her name is Mary Beth Tenning. And she murdered all nine of her children. All nine of them. She had... A very obviously severe case of Munchausen's by proxy. And, uh, let's see if, uh, Chris is playing anything. Um, yeah. She, uh, she killed her nine kids. And they didn't catch her at first because, you know, Munchausen, Munchausen by proxy is, Munchausen is you hurt yourself for attention. Munchausen by proxy is you hurt someone else for attention. And she had her first eight, her all eight of her biological children, she smothered to death, she killed. Um, she often brought them in, um, not breathing or weird injuries, but when you do shit like that, what, what people do is, especially back then, cause think about it, cops didn't even start, precincts didn't even start working together until nineties, the nineties maybe. Like, cops used to actually fight over territory and would purposefully not share information, which is how people like Kemper and especially Bundy. Bundy went to Florida. They arrested him for killing two girls and attacking three others. And they didn't know who he was until he told them who he was. That is how little departments actually talk to one another. So what these Bunchhausen by proxy people will do is they will go to one doctor, one pediatrician for a certain amount of time. That pediatrician starts to catch on. They got some illnesses. Maybe they got some bruises. Maybe they've been brought in not breathing more than once. Doctor starts to get a little suspicious. So what do you do? You go to a different ER, you go to a different hospital, you can go to a different hospital in a different county. They won't know. 1970s, you think they got fucking records like that? Nope. So she could just bring her kids into different places, and she did. And she'd bring her kids in blue, blue, saying, oh my god, they're, you know, they're dead, I don't know what happened, and... When, in reality, she was killing them. And, uh, yeah, dude. She, uh, <laughs> she also, another fun fact, she tried to poison her husband to kill him. In between these, uh, infanticides. And, uh, he's still married to her. He said that the uh, the poisoning and the abdominal discomfort he felt from the uh, arsenic uh, was an accident. So he stayed married to her for the decades that she was in prison for killing all of their kids and poisoning him. And they're still married happily reportedly, and living together in Troy, where she's not allowed to leave that county. 
Uh, yeah. And it sounds really messed up, but all I want to do is just fucking bump into her at a price chopper. All I want to do is just fucking bump into her once. Just so I can say, I know who you are. It might be 40 years ago when you did what you did, but I still remember your babies. And the only reason she's not still in prison, Travis, to answer your question, is because they could only prove that she murdered her last child. And you'll never guess why. Because he was adopted. They believe, and there is very much proof, that SIDS is genetic. That some siblings who have passed from SIDS before, they might have a higher likelihood. They thought that it could be genetic, it could be this or that. But when your adopted, like, nine-month-old baby dies in the exact same way, can't blame it in ge on genes anymore. Now can you? So, she was only ever convicted of killing one baby only because she was adopted. The rest of her children got no such justice. I regret to inform you. <sighs> it pisses you off, right? Like, you just think about it and you're like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> like, you could go and do whatever you want. And, like, you choose to do that. You can, like, it's just very, I understand that narcissism, that mental illness, that personality disorders, that there are truly things that people cannot chemically control happening in their brain. I fully and truly believe and understand that. Having got my four-year degree only in psychology, but <sighs> to have something grow in your belly and then put a pillow on its face, ah, I don't even want to think about it anymore. We're not going to talk about her anymore because she honestly doesn't deserve to be talked about. And, uh, you know, no, you know what? She does. She deserves to be talked about because every single one of those kids should not be forgotten. I'm a weirdo. I understand this. I go to cemeteries and I clean up graves sometimes. Whenever I see a child's grave under the age of five, I will walk and pick a flower and put it on that grave. And I do not stop until I find a flower. You know, just the thought that someone's babies are forgotten. You know. <sighs> okay, I'm taking the axe. This just looks fun. Wee! Okay. Um. Okay. Let's get physical. Physical. Crouching doesn't help an axe. Why am I not hitting anything? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't think this through. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, D, I got, I got that bitch's photo in case I run into her. I, honestly, uh, I, if I ever run into her, I just want to be, I just want to whisper, I know what you did. And I, and people still remember. <laughs> That's all I want to say to her. Just say it to her and kindly walk away. And hope, hope. That somewhere in her soulless fucking hole where her heart should have been, something will feel bad. But you know what? I don't think it ever will. I don't think she's ever felt bad about a single thing that she's done. Dude, am I going the wrong way again? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of you down here. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, 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 oh. I made everyone mad. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Or that. Oh my god. 